What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dragon Quest 2. Hopefully, it won't be, uh, what do you call it, uh, interrupted this time. Okay, since last time I did a little bit of grinding, it took about a half hour. I gained a couple levels, got Dragon's Bane for everybody. I don't need the Steel Shield because I'm going to be getting it later on. I got the close hiding for Lars and Gwen. So everyone's pretty much equal when it comes to defense power, which is nice. Uh, yeah. I've been fighting enemies in the ocean because they give up a lot of money. And, and you need money in this game. Money is very, very important. So let's go look for that treasure that that guy was talking about. May as well. Yeah. Don't have much else to do. Actually, we do have something else to do. I forgot all about this. This is Aleph Guard right here. Yeah! So it's like you go for a full circle here. Yeah. Even have the, uh... Aleph Guard music. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, and the enemies around Aleph Guard are, uh... Well, a lot of them could do... I mean, like... If they're similar to the ones near Lion, uh, Leanne Port, but, uh, I don't know, I mean, they're okay to beat, but, I don't know, I just don't really find them that appealing. You find a lot of mud men, which is just, oh my god, that's so annoying. Yeah, that was a decent combination there, though. Wouldn't mind fighting that fight over and over and over. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And there's Charlock, too. So. Yeah. Alright. Cool. You can save here and stuff. And same thing as, a uh, Same thing as Dragon Quest 1. Uh, the other towns in Dragon Quest 1 are not here, by the way. Uh, Alfgar got, like, destroyed, apparently, over the past hundred years. Yeah. So, yeah. Ah, cool. So, uh... Gwen is Wayland's twin. Yeah, same sounding name. Yeah, I have. Ah, okay, cool. All right. Yeah, it's right. It's straight north of Leandport, so yeah. I certainly will. Even though the House of Healing will do that. Yep. This is a golden door. We can't open those yet. We'll be able to later. I'm actually gonna get that key today. If I can. So they have a. Uh, they have different weapons here. Uh, actually, it's the same place, same as uh, Leanport, I'm sorry. Only thing is you have the giant hammer. Yeah, but uh, I'm not going to buy it because it's a, it's a waste of money in this game. In the remakes, it's actually pretty useful, and I'm going to explain why when I get the uh, when I get Erdrick's sword. Yeah, you can get that in Charlock Castle. I don't know why the king's here, but whatever. Maybe he's like... Maybe he's plotting something or whatever, who knows. Maybe he's with Hargon. Yeah, <laughs> six dollars, just like in uh, Dragon Quest 1 for the end. And you can buy, you can buy Dragon's Bane here too, so, yeah, good stuff. <clears throat> By the way, we did learn a couple spells. Uh, Lars learned outside, so we'll be able to ex escape from dungeons really easily. And we got Repel for, uh, Gwen there, so that's pretty cool. See who's in the actual king's chamber. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. What a pussy. Oh my god. Excuse my language, but Jesus Christ, man. That is just fucked up. Ah, so it does. Actually, he's wrong. Uh, there's red doors in a dungeon in one of the towers in this game, and you can open it with the silver key. Yeah, so you could save with this guy, but I don't want to do that quite yet. Uh, one thing you can do is, if it took you a while by boat to go somewhere, you can save your game, return there, and your boat will magically appear right in front of the place where you last saved. So, that's pretty good. But I don't want to do that now, I want to go explore. Yes, that is what we're going to do. And I'll go to Charlock later. I'm not leveled up for it right now. Yeah, more magic baboons than magic jackies, so I can deal with that. Easy enough. And I don't want to hit, <coughs> and I don't want to return anywhere right now because uh, I would go right back to a uh, 
what do you call it? Ham one, so. So I'm just gonna take my time here and do some ex do some more exploring. It's always nice to do exploring after you get the ship. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting a lot of upgrades today. Well, I'm getting access to upgrades today. And I'll fight some motion enemies also, pretty much. Alright, so the end port's over here. Alright. So let's go straight north. We should be able to run right into it if you go straight north from the airport. So. Here it is. This is obscenely hard to find in the uh, remakes, by the way. But here you can find it rather easily. We got the treasures. Okay. <laughs> Pretty sure it's treasures, but whatever. Uh, maybe it was uh, too long to fit on one line or something. Who knows? <clears> hmm. <throat> Anyways, let's go ahead and return this. Yep. Go ahead and uh, give us our ship back. Thank you, sir. Let's go ahead and. Uh... Gwen, be our key whore, please. Thank you. Nicely done. Get the echoing flute, which will, uh... Well, you're supposed to get crests in this game. And, uh, when a crest is in an area, the echoing flute will echo. So, so it's pretty cool, but I don't really need to worry about it right now. I just want to do some more exploring first. All about exploring and fighting new enemies. Sea slugs have about 30 hit points. They can uh, put an enemy that you can, they can put one of your players to sleep uh, with a physical. Uh, Man of Wars can do the same thing. They have about 25 hit points. Uh, Man of Wars are uh, very susceptible to infernos, so yeah, you can use that. I totally didn't know that the sea slug could crit. So yeah, there you go. Fortunately, hero the hero has decent hit points, so. That wasn't too, uh, annoying. Oh, uh, they can put it- yeah, they can put you to sleep with their breath, too, which is really annoying. Infernos doesn't work on sea slugs nearly as much as, uh, Men of War, but, yeah. Or Man of Wars, or whatever. <clears throat> Okay, we'll take these out, these guys out pretty easily here. Even Lars can take them out in a couple shots, which is pretty good. And they can summon other sea slugs too, which is pretty annoying, but whatever. And the sea slugs are worth a whopping $90 per enemy. Look how much money I just got in that fight. And look how much XP. And I wasn't, and I didn't really, it didn't take much effort for me to beat that, for me to beat those enemies. That is how you gain a level, Gwen. Yes, ma'am. That was beautiful. In fact, it's so beautiful, I'm going to go ahead and rest up uh, again. <laughs> I don't care. Run. Yeah, whatever. You can do what you want, enemies. I need to get some water anyways. There you go. Yeah, because I'm going to be traveling in the sea quite a bit, so... I'm going to see if Repel works, actually. So in that one fight, that's all the enemies you could fight in the uh, ocean, so... Most of the time. <clears throat> they do have stronger... Are you serious now? It's just a demi-coast. Alright, that'll work. Take this guy out pretty easily. Nicely done. Good shots. And a level up, why not? That was pathetic. Yeah, the hero's gonna be hit point deficient pretty much until level 20. Let's see if Repel works. So I wanna go north again, but I'm actually gonna continue north past the uh, treasure trove. This is gonna be another longer episode just because I wanna get a lot done. Wow, it was straight north of the import. Jesus Christ. Ha! 
bullet should have had a map handy, but we should be alright. Yeah, we're good. Alright, here's the other town we want to go to. You can get here from a monolith, but you don't want to do that, because the enemies around here are disgusting. Like these guys, basilisks. Oh. I need to attack with the hero. Pick, just defend with everyone else. They can do 20-something damage to a player if, uh, with our current defense power. And, uh, yeah, you, you won't survive if uh, you get hit too much by these guys. Come on! Are you serious? Uh, run! <sighs> Thank God. Heart beating out of my chest there. Good, alright. This is Baran. I have faced many dangers, and the greatest do lie ahead. That's an understatement. Who's Raj Fastfinger? <laughs> Raj Fastfinger. I haven't heard about him, but my wife has heard about him. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah. You can buy the Shield of Strength here, which is really good. Uh, the uh, Prince of Canada can equip it. It casts Heal more on yourself and uses as an item. It's amazing. Uh, the Iron Helmet, you can buy that in Tanticle too, but I'm not going to buy that. The Hero can equip it. It's pretty bad for the price. And you get another, and you get an upgrade for it almost immediately. Dragon Killer is pretty good. It uh, increases your attack by 50. Does, ex does a little bit more damage on dragons. I'm going to be buying that for my hero eventually. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to be going there later, too. That's the uh, lottery, I think. Do I have a lottery ticket? No, I don't. Hey, come back here. Ah, cool. Yeah, so that's like, a, it's like the Phoenix Downs of this game. Ah! Uh, okay, cool. Nice. Okay. If you're playing the uh, Super Famicom uh, remake, do not stay in this inn. Uh, it triggers a storyline where they fix it in the Game Boy Color version. But you stay at this inn in the uh, Super Nintendo version, the Super Famicom version, and the Prince of Canock will be bedridden here until you can find the Leaf of the World Tree. Uh, in the Super Famicom version, you find the Leaf of the World Tree and give it to him, and the game freezes up in the Super Famicom version. In the uh, Game Boy Color version, uh, it's, he comes back and uh, and joins you again. So, yeah. Sure I do. Alright, nice. I do not have the time. Do you see a watch here? This is the Middle Ages, bro. What the fuck? That is the most Shakespearean insult I have ever seen in a video game. Then, the, well, then, then may your ears become cabbages and your tongue a sausage. What the? Wow, that's scary. Okay, I think I will. All right. So you get some good info here. You can save here, which I'm. I don't know if I'm... Eh. You know, so far the east line is an island. Ah, okay, yeah, so that's, yeah, so... Pretty much to the east, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we be able to get the uh, leaf of the world tree, which is nice, so... I'm gonna do that right now. <clears throat> Alright, let's hope I don't run into uh, basilisks again. Nice, no enemies at all. Beautiful. All right, propel us up. I don't really care about getting any XP or anything right now. I'm not gonna do any on-screen grinding or anything like that. I do want to find the uh, leaf of the world tree, though. So. <clears throat> it's around here you can fight stronger uh, ocean enemies, I think. Remember that place for later. It's very important. You'll see. 
Oh, you will see. Trust me. <laughs> you, yeah, you will see. This is a town we can't get to yet because we don't have the golden key to enter it. You can get some of the best upgrades in the game there. So. And this is the world tree. Yeah, alright. There it is. Beautiful. Now we have the uh, Phoenix down that we can use on a player. Uh, if, you, if you use it, all you gotta do is just go back here, you'll find another one, they regenerate after you use one, so, yeah. You can only get one per... You can only get one, though, like, a, Yeah, you can't find anything else after getting one. So you can only have one in your inventory, pretty much. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Well, next time on Dragon Quest II, I'm just gonna do more exploring, and, uh, we'll find some major upgrades. Like I promised, but... Oh, I, I only said we would have access to the upgrades in this episode. Next episode, we're going to actually get upgrades. Next time on Dragon Quest II. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.